With the temperatures in triple digits outside Bellator MMA headed inside the Kansas Star Arena on a night number one contenders took center stage. It began with Daniel Weichel choosing to take a fight, taking a risk, and scoring another big win. And against a dangerous opponent in Emmanuel Sanchez. Emmanuel Sanchez always busy, always active in every single round, especially round number three. But Daniel Weichel able to find his opportunities behind the right hand, staying tight. Wouldn't allow himself to get lured into a brawl. Able to get the takedown when he needed. It was mostly a stand-up battle where he was just a little sharper, a little cleaner, a little more accurate than his very busy opponent, Emmanuel Sanchez. Very close fight. Judges had it closer than we did. A split decision win for Daniel Weichel as he solidifies that number one contender spot this was a great story. Emily Ducote grew up watching MMA with her grandmother on Spike, and when she got her opportunity to do it for real, she made it pay off big. She said this was striker against grappler, but she ended up being the superior striker, the right hand in the second round floored Bruna Vargas. And look at this, she takes her back, rear naked choke, beautiful finish for Emily Ducote, a dream come true. For Melvin Gillard, Bellator had been a nightmare so far. He had been 0-2, needed a big win on the road, and he got it. Yeah, he was hurt early against Caveman Rickles, but against the fence, the right elbow floored Caveman. These follow-up elbows on the ground. One, two, three, and that's the knockout. Beautiful comeback for Melvin Gillard. A first-round knockout for Melvin Gillard, and what he says will be his final fight at 155. As he goes up to welterweight, he gets his first win inside the Bellator cage, going on the road in enemy territory and knocking out the caveman, David Rickles. It led us to the main event. For 10 minutes, Darian Caldwell dominated, trying to go to 10 and 0. Minute number 11 was his undoing. Now, Darian Caldwell had been scoring with the takedown, got some good positions in round number one, but couldn't get the finish against Baby Joe. Playing the outside, Baby Joe wasn't able to get his striking going. It was a physical display in the beginning by Darian Caldwell, but in round number three, look at it in real time. A double leg attempt, a beautiful arm in guillotine by Baby Joe. Small, strong, powerful, nowhere to go but to tap for Darian Caldwell. Nine seconds into round three, Baby Joe Ty Minglo scores the upset, hands Darian Caldwell his first professional loss. For the latest news and information, head to Bellator.com. August 26th, two former world champions look to fight their way back to a title shot with MMA superstar Benson Henderson. I want to fight everybody. I want to beat everybody. Battles ferocious Brazilian striker Patricio Pitbull. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite. Live Friday, August 26th at 10 on Spike.